In this video, I teach you how to make a beer gun for almost free using leftover brewery equipment that you probably have already. For this project you will need an old racking cane. If you're like me, you probably bought an auto siphon early on, so your racking cane has been laying around collecting dust. A hose clamp, a small length of tubing, any size so long as it fits over your racking cane. A drilled bung size 3. These are usually less than a dollar at your local homebrew shop. And something to cut the racking cane with. Finally, you'll need a way to connect the beer gun to your keg. A simple picnic tap attached to a line of tubing and a liquid connect is all you'll need. Start by cutting off the curved end of the racking cane. Cut the can at an angle. It should look something like this. Pointed on one end and flat on the other. Next, slip the small piece of tubing over the racking cane and tighten it with the hose clamp. It doesn't need to be tightened very hard. And you don't want to crack the cane. Next, slide the bung over the cane. It might be a little tough to slide on, but that's okay. And you're done. Your beer gun is complete. Here's a closer look at the picnic tap and tubing we're going to use. I had an extra picnic tap laying around and an extra liquid connect. I attached it to 6 feet of 3 16 tubing. When making yours, remember the longer the tubing and the smaller the diameter is of the tubing, the less foam you get. When you're ready to bottle, slide the beer gun onto the end of the picnic tap. Before your beer gun comes in contact with any beer or beer bottles, make sure to sanitize it first. I prefer Star Sand, a no rinse sanitizer. Normally I'd have a bunch of bottles already sanitized, but for this video, I'm just going to give this one a quick squirt and dump out any excess. First you want to turn off the gas to your keg. Then vent the CO2 from the keg. Remove the liquid line from the tap attach the liquid line for the beer gun turn down the regulator on the CO2 tank and vent the gas to drop the pressure turn up the regulator to about 3 psi now turn the gas back on for your keg slide the racking cane into the bottle adjust the cane so it's at the bottom of the bottle press the bung firmly into the top of the bottle to create a seal on the bottle and the cane Turn the picnic tap on and let the beer flow. As the beer fills the bottle, CO2 pressure will build up and stop the beer flow. When this happens, slowly vent CO2 from the bottle by squeezing the bung. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.